What's going on, you guys? So today we have the unboxing and the review of the Nubia Z60 Ultra. Not featuring a Band-Aid today, where the hands are all right. Well, actually, if the hands are messed up, then it's because we've been working on the basement. Uh, Chelsea and I have taken upon a project that is bigger than I originally thought. So we thought it was gonna be a paint job. Now I'm grinding walls. Now I'm installing carbon fiber. It's a whole thing. So bear with me, you guys, if the hands are, you know, normally I'm not a, I'm not a construction worker. I want nothing to do with it. Uh, I wanna, you know, go out, hang out, party, do the fun stuff. I, I don't wanna work. So, so, you know, I don't know what's going on in this, in this relationship now, but before I was someone who wouldn't even touch a nail to put it in a, it, to, to, to put a picture in. And now we're redoing the basement and, and doing the whole thing. So, you know, life changes, you guys, life changes. So this is the Nubia Z60 Ultra. I just got this in the mail and I want to do the unboxing, but let's, let's do a quick comparison. Cause I, I want to make sure that we're talking about the same thing here, you guys. Okay. So, so this box will open. So we're going to compare the unboxing to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, as well as the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So just, just so you guys get an idea of what we're actually talking about, okay? So this phone right here, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, uh, 512 gig, uh, it should be right around $1,400. It's $1,399. This Samsung Galaxy S20, S24 Ultra at 512 gig is $1,419, $1,419 off the Samsung website. This is $1,399 uh, off of the Apple website. This Nubia right here is $779 off of the Nubia website, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs storage. So these are all, this Nubia is supposed to be the, the, the flagship killer right now for less the price. So let's, you know, make sure we're getting the same thing. So I just want to reiterate, $1,400 for the iPhone, $1,400 for the Samsung S24 Ultra and $779. Actually, I ended up paying $769 for the uh, uh, Nubia Z60 Ultra, okay? 15 Pro Max, you get this box, right? You get the cable, you get the stickers, okay? That's what you get this year, last year, and next year. They'll probably hand it to you in an envelope. Galaxy S24 Ultra. I should have put the phone in here for, oh, let me actually, for dramatic effect. Galaxy S24 Ultra. Get the phone, nothing underneath. Get all your books in here and you get a cable. That's it, that's all you get. That's 1400 bucks. Okay. Go, oh, dude. Oh, and of course you get the little SIM ejection tool. Okay. I was getting ready to toss this thing, you guys. Okay. So here's the, the Nubia Z60 Ultra, 16 gigabytes RAM, 512 storage. Little box cutter that I got for Christmas as a as a little trinket from uh, from Chelsea's mom. So if if anybody says I don't use the gifts that I get, I do use the gifts that I get. And here is a uh, example for you right there. So break on in, and this is straight from uh, from the Nubia website. They sent it to me FedEx. Open the box. What do we get? Wrapped up. Okay, Nubia Z60 Ultra. Snapdragon sound, Wi-Fi 6 certified. I'm actually kind of excited for this phone because I uh, I don't mess around with these Nubias or the ZTEs too much, but man, at this price and for these specs, I really wanted to check it out and, and kind of see what's going on and, and see what it do because, uh, you know, these phones are getting up there and up there in price. Um, you know, the 1400 and all that is, is, is pretty expensive. So we got the box here. It's a nice looking box to compare. Let's compare. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Open them up. Got the phone right here. 
back. Ooh, I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited. That looks nice. Here's the Nubia. Rip it off. Oh, this feels so nice already, you guys. It feels nice, square. Look at that. So I got the black right now on the on the Nubia website. Uh, it, it's it's all you can pretty much get is the 512 uh, gig, a uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM black. That's in the U.S. Um, wow, this thing feels large. Um, it feels uh, it feels square. It feels rectangular. I love this. I love the feel of this phone. And I really got this because I wanted to. Uh, I really wanted to get this compared with my uh, S24 Ultra here and uh, and kind of see what's up because the specs uh, the specs on this thing kind of uh, speak for themselves. You know what I mean? And 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 I kind of wanted to see see what's going on. So uh, you know their Red Magic Nine series was fantastic. The gaming phones, but this is more of a beast if you guys don't want all the gaming uh, all the gaming options. Okay. So let's see here, in the box, we get SIM ejection tool. Let me use this. Try and turn this phone on you guys. Okay. And we get a little case. All right, this doesn't look like anything special at all. But some corner protection there. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. As soon as I take this case out, I kind of hate this case. Um, so it doesn't cover anything up on the sides here, and it kind of uh, it, it does cover up on the back. But I I don't like this case, you guys. I'm I'll have, I'll, I'll I'll give it some more uh, chances here when I when I go out with this. Um, but right now, it is what it is. But you get a case. You get a free case in the box, all right? You get all your books, okay? All that. Whatever. How we get another box? You get boxes of goods here, okay? There's your charging brick. You get a big old charging brick. Okay. Get the cord, nice cord here. Charge your phone up. And nothing in this one. So for, for what are we talking, half the price? You guys get a case, you get a charger in the box, you get a nice, way nicer presentation. You get a nicer presentation, um, uh, you know, you get a cable and all of that. And this is for half the price. And again, of course, I haven't gone through all the, all the, um, you know, the, the specs yet, but this phone is supposed to be, it's supposed to be the flagship killer. So we're going to check it out and see what it is. I'm getting ready. I actually have my, um, my SIM card in this uh, LG wing right now, believe it or not, a blast from the past. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch out the SIM cards to this Nubia and we're gonna get it set up and we're gonna do the review. Hey, we'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, so we're back. And the cut was quick, but in reality, it was about two weeks and I have had my SIM card in this phone and have been using it. Um, so let's, let's get right into it and do the full review of the Nubia Z60 Ultra featuring Hello Kitty Band-Aid. And this one is not for me. Uh, picking my hands at the therapist's office, although that's still ongoing. Uh, this is from me chopping into an apple and, and you know, just, just, I don't know what happened, but I wasn't of myself. I was, I was in the skies at the time. So it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. So let's get right into it and go over some of the specs on this phone. So the price is $779 brand new. And that is an important spec to me because that is, you know, almost half the price of the other flagships at what we just went over this 1419 for the for the comparable uh for the comparable memory uh, and ram 
and and the iPhone 15 is 1400 also. So so this is about half, and I got ten dollars off uh, on the on the Nubia website, and straight from them, and it was a uh, 769 total with shipping included and all that. So that is an important spec because this phone is 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 basically almost almost half the price of these of these other flagships. Okay, so 6.8 inch screen. 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which this battery does feel like 6,000 uh, milliamp hours. So we'll, we'll get into that, but it's a monster battery. Snapdragon 8 generation three processor, IP68 dust and water resistant. And for the camera, you got a triple system. It's a 50 megapixel prime, 64 megapixel periscope telephoto, 50 megapixel ultra wide angle, and a 12 megapixel selfie camera on the front. Okay, now, Nubia, on their website there, they're, um, they themselves are calling it a 18 millimeter starry sky, right here, 18 millimeter starry sky main camera, 50 million pixels, 35 millimeter prime lens, 85 millimeter portrait prime. You know what I noticed is when you scroll down through here, it's hard to find anything about the selfie camera. Uh, specs on their own website, which is there's there's a reason for that. Uh, so that's a lot of words. All these cameras on all of these phones use a lot of words: megapixel, aperture. I'm 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 pretty dumb, so I don't know what a lot of those mean. I'm gonna put this camera into one word for you guys: mid. Okay, mid. We're gonna get more into it, but right now let's just go through the specs. So this thing comes in eight gigabytes RAM, twelve and sixteen. This is the sixteen gig version and uh, 256 or 512 gigs of memory. This is the 512 gig version. So no wireless charge on this phone, okay? The display, 440 PPI, 1500 nits brightness, and uh, 1.07 billion colors, as they say here. Um, and I, you know, I tried to cut right here, 440 PPI, 1500 nits, uh, 1.07 billion colors. I tried to count them all individually with both my eyes. I only got to about seven or eight colors. So, but you know, those seven or eight I got to were bright, crisp. All right. So for this display, you guys, just my own personal opinion, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this display. It's 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 crisp. It's, it's this sharp rectangle. I love the way it looks. And I, I don't, on a, on a casual user, not a casual user level, but a regular user, um, not someone who knows the back end coding and all that. I don't know how uh, some of these other phones like the Xiaomi's and the, uh, you know, the, the, the Vivos, how, how they make their displays look so crisp, you know, like this is one of the regular wallpapers from, uh, from Nubia. And, and it just, it looks so nice. There's a crispness to it. There's a cleanness to it. It's clean. It's, it's, I, I absolutely love this display. You guys, um, I, I, I keep, I keep using it and I, and I just, I love looking at it. Uh, it sounds so stupid, but you know, we're going through the phone. So this is, it, it's, it just, it looks so nice. And that's not to say that these other phones uh, don't because you know, this, uh, the Samsung Galaxy, it looks super nice as well. Um, there's also Christmas to that one, but it, it you know, there's something about like, how how bright and how all the colors work together that it just makes this this thing look so good so good um so biometrics on this there's a face unlock okay right here okay let's go ahead and uh register one device unlock here face and fingerprint unlock and your pin, face unlock, face added, delete facial data, data. I don't know what I just said. Face unlock, setup needed. So you're gonna go through this here, done. Create my face. Just as quick as that, all right? And I'm, I'm in there, right? So that's my face data, fingerprint. Fingerprints added. The fingerprint on this was actually a little bit difficult to add for me. And also it's a little bit slow to get going. So you guys see it obviously on all these flagship phones, on all these phones that have the higher end specs, it's not gonna be something that's your, that you're noticing a huge difference on. But on this phone in particular, um, I'm having, uh, I, I mostly use the face unlock. Just cause it's so quick and the, um, 
the fingerprint sometimes takes a little while longer. So face and fingerprint added, add fingerprint. So you're gonna go around, then you gotta do your edge, edge of the fingerprint. Right there, and you got it added. Now, when I was adding it the first time, uh, it kind of, it locked me out a little bit. Oh, but guys, I got this. I got this. Look at this. So I've got this, uh, look at all that bird feed over there. You see that on the table? We've got mice in the garage. We had mice in the, uh, we have mice in the main house and now we, ki we killed a bunch of them. I was using these electric uh, traps. Now we got them in the garage and they're, they're rummaging through all the bird feed. Anyway, uh, I I'm, I'm like a bird myself. I, I get I'm distracted like a squirrel. All right, so fingerprint was a little bit uh, difficult to add. It took me a little bit while longer um, and it takes a little longer to unlock. So it's fine, it is what it is, uh, but you know, I, I, I tend to use the face unlock. The face unlock is super quick. Let's see. Let's see here. Swipe up Tanner. And all of this here, face unlock, unlock device. Uh, I want to unlock directly when recognized. So look how quick that is. Boom, I'm in. Okay, so biometrics, oh, you got all the standards. You got the pin, you got your face unlock, and you've got your fingerprint. I personally like the face unlock the most. It works the quickest um, out of all of them. The fingerprint is just takes just a little bit long. Um, all right, let's move to the sound, you guys. So the sound on this phone, it, it's gonna do the trick, um, but when you when you compare it to some of the higher fly, when, higher flag other higher flagships like the s23 ultra the iphone 15 uh it sounds a little bit more muffled in my opinion let's go let's check it out let's go what am i got what do i got here that song doesn't sound good at all Full loud. Full rise. Full loud. So it's loud. It'll get you there. But it's 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 to me in my mind comparing it to my S twenty four Ultra and uh, comparing it to my iPhone, it it uh, it sounds a little bit muffled. Full loud as 24 Ultra. So it's loud, and when you connect your headphones, your headphones are going to connect just fine. So, what I had a problem with, I was using my J Labs, and I had a slight issue connecting with my J Labs. It took me a little bit. I had to go into my Bluetooth settings and, and, and shut them off and turn them back on and mess with it a little bit. So, it wasn't quite as streamlined. Um, but my Beats Pro headphones connected no problem. Everything sounds super good in the headphones. When you got to drop your headphones, or when you got to drop your phone, or drop the 40s and go pick up the 20s in the gym, you're going to be just fine walking across the gym with this. I've never had it cut out. So the sound sounds just fine. And unless really you have it next to an S24 Ultra or an iPhone 15, you're not really going to be like, oh, this sounds muffled. I don't like this. But if you do compare, if you're doing a direct comparison, yeah, a little bit, um, I would say it's a little bit of a step down on sound than the other flagships. Um, but overall was fantastic. In the headphones, the sound is nice, crisp, loud. I No difference, um, you know, I, it wasn't bothering me at all. I, I loved it, I loved it. Um, okay, so let's get to the camera on this phone, okay? So let's, when you go to the camera on here, I've got this camera activated with the um, with this switch. We'll go into it next up here. And look at that, look, see, I see my ring light in here now, and it's, reminds me of the 
Cash is out there getting in a fight with the neighbor's dog. It reminds me of the Santi reflective screen on this S24. Man, it looks so much nicer. It looks, it's, it, it, I love it. So the modes you have on this camera right here, family, street, pro, this is where all your options are here. Okay. You guys will know more about this than I will. Pro, AFL, AEL, WBL. Regular photo right here. This is where most of us are going to hang out at. Video. Okay. 1080p video. The shoe K. Uh, 720p, 1080p, 4K, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second. You can shoot 4K, 120 frames per second on this for video. Okay. You got Milky Way Night portrait um and there's starry sky too i thought there was yeah there's a there's a starry sky version too um and basically what to me all of these are are are, are fun modes to mess around with um but 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 the bottom line on this is is the, the camera so the camera is mid to mid high okay one thing i like that this thing does on the portrait it's got this beauty setting here and of course i'm going to throw some pictures up and you can beautify the picture from zero all the way to a slider of seven. So we do that for the portrait, ramp it up. And it may not show because there's no people in here in this photo, but yeah, it really ramps up the, uh, I might have, oh, Chelsea's going to kill me if I show, show her pics, but I think she is cuddling with cash, but, um, anyway, it, uh, it, it ramps up, it, it beautifies you. And in my opinion, uh, this phone does what the Vivo uh, X90 pro plus did really well. It just doesn't do it as well. So the pictures on this thing look nice, but when you mess with the beautify feature, I keep this at about three or four. Okay. It starts to make you look too AI ish after the fact. Uh, and uh, uh, like I said, I'll throw some pictures up, but when you get all the way up to seven, it makes you look kind of cartoony, but it does its best. Okay. But overall on this phone, the, 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 the camera is, is it's mid high, but it's not going to blow anything out of the water. It doesn't blow the S 24 ultra out of the water, not the iPhone 15 pro max. Uh, and as you guys know, I don't like the iPhone 15, uh, cameras. I think it make, I think it makes you look too real. Uh, Chelsea and I always talk about this. We're still waiting for that Vivo. We're patiently waiting for the Vivo X 100 pro plus it should come out in April, uh, late March or April. Uh, you know, when I tell Chelsea that she goes, yeah, I've heard about that since November from you. So I'm done telling her about it until I can put up, you know, put up or shut up. So that phone's supposed to hit here in about a month or so. I'm anxiously awaiting that phone for the camera. This camera, it's going to get you there, but it's not going to be the best camera on the market. Okay. Uh, the portrait camera is nice. The regular camera is nice, but you're not going to be raring to, to grab this phone just to use the camera. Um, that's just the bottom line. The selfie camera on this thing is absolutely atrocious. I'm going to throw some things up. This is not my best look here. Yeah, look at this. Look at how much it beautified me here. So I think this was on seven. It's me sitting with Cash. Look at that. I look almost cartoonish. You know, Cash looks so good. Always so photogenic. Me, not so much. But it makes you look good, but it makes you look super cartoonish. This is a horrible look of me. I, I, I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but cash wouldn't get off me there. This is the selfie camera. The selfie camera on this, on this phone is absolute trash. Uh, I'm sorry, but it, but it just is. It's trash. It's, I don't know how else to put it. I don't use the selfie camera on this phone. It's, I, I don't want to say it's unusable. It's garbage. Okay. The selfie camera on this phone is garbage. Um, I'm sorry, but it is the main camera, the, the rear camera, pretty good pretty good. No complaints. I'm still, you know, when I have my S 24 ultra on me, I'm still going to use that. When I have my iPhone 15 on me, I'm going to use my S 24 ultra. None of these phones, you know, I really got this phone not for the camera, but to see what, what it, to see what it do in the $750 price range when the rest of these phones are 13, 1400. So I wanted to get a fair comparison of all this. So the pics are a little washed out. You don't get as much details. The colors are a little washed out. It, in my opinion, it's not quite the best, but it's, it's a fine camera. And again, with all these things, as you guys, you know, if you're putting it directly up and comparing it next to a, a flagship or another phone, you might notice a slight difference. But if you've got this phone and this is all you have, you're absolutely not going to be disappointed with it. You're going to have enough settings here. 
you know, we can go into the camera settings, edit, this is Google Photo stock, but you got enough, uh, enough camera to play with, enough uh, beautifying features here to play with um, that you're not gonna be upset, okay? And, and, and that actually takes me to my next point. Let, on the day-to-day, -day, so what I was surprised about on this phone, this is this, you guys, it's, it's almost stock Google. Uh, it's, it came to me, and there was a global version on the Nubia website, and there was a US version. So I had a, the US version was sold out, the 12256 was sold out. So I've got the 16, uh, 512 gig global version. And this phone came with m most of these Google apps. I've got this wallpapers app, um, which a sidebar, I was trying to install, um, I was trying to install the Moon Super wallpapers on this phone and I can't get it to work. So this is the, the Moon is the new Xiaomi wallpaper, the uh, uh, live wallpaper, the super wallpapers that Xiaomi has, and I'm not able to install it on this phone. So um, on the day-to-day, -day, I've got this phone. It had very little bloat on startup. It felt super clean. It felt super nice. Um, I, I had, it, and it was almost stock Google, which, which did surprise me because I was hearing about some compatibility issues here in the US and I absolutely had zero. I mean, I had zero compatibility issues. This phone might as well have been a Samsung. And I understand that these phones aren't marketed too well in the US, um, but for half the price, you guys, this, and this, we're not, I'm not talking about like the Xiaomi's that we go over and some of these other uh, Chinese phones that I have to set up and you have to go in your permissions and allow every app. This phone works uh, like my S24 Ultra works here in the US. Um, it's fully compatible. This one's on Mint Mobile. This one's on T-Mobile. Um, this registers, uh, the Mint Mobile registers as T-Mobile here because it runs off the T-Mobile network. But if you guys are considering grabbing this in the US, I have had absolutely no problems. If you can see, I'm on 5G here. Um, uh, uh, voice, uh, whatever it is, LTE. Um, absolutely zero issues. All my notifications come in. I did not have to mess with my permissions. You can mess with your permissions even further if you want to. As a matter of fact, after this, let's go through the settings on this so you guys can get a feel. Um, but I had, have had absolutely zero issues in the US, less issues than I have with the Xiaomi's, less issues, the Vivo was easy once I set up the permissions, less issues than I had with that. So I, I understand this phone isn't really marketed in the US, but as far as compatibility, dude, I, I wouldn't worry about it, this phone works perfect. Let's go through the settings a little bit, you guys, so you guys can get a full feel of this, okay? So when you go through the settings, you've got your Wi-Fi, regular here, Use Wi-Fi. I've got it shut off. I'm a little bit far away, so I don't want it messing with everything. More settings. Turn on Wi-Fi automatically. Notify public networks. Install certificates. Buckle up. I'm going to go through all of the settings. For, for those of you guys who want to see, um, you know, what these phones are, are, are all about, these cheaper phones, um, cheaper but still flagship killers, quote unquote, I want to go through all of the settings. And Bluetooth here. Use Bluetooth. Device name Z60 Ultra. You can change your device name here. Files received. There's my car my, my, and two of my headphones. This is your Bluetooth, other available devices you can come in and connect here, okay? Mobile network, airplane mode you can turn on, data saver, mobile data SIM card. So this is a dual SIM and like I said here, it registers for T-Mobile um, as, as Mint Mobile. Uh, the SIM cards over here, yeah. So that's, that's all your data. Connected devices, Z SmartCast, and this is gonna let you connect to your smart TV or smart uh, you know, laptop, whatever it is. And this technology isn't new anymore. It's on all of the Androids. So you, know, you guys are gonna, if you guys wanna use it, fine. I usually never use it because there's, honestly, in my mind, it's a cool feature if I could use it, but I've, I've never been able to do it without lag between my two devices, between my TV and my phone. And whether that's on the S, S24 Ultra, on the flagships or on the cheaper phones, that's my personal experience. You guys may not have this experience, and obviously, um, you know, if you guys pair your Samsung phone to your Samsung TV, I'm sure it works a lot easier. But in my experience, I've had, I don't really use this feature too much, but it's cool to use. And one thing you can do is if you want to mess with the, uh, if there's a, if you guys are at the gym and they have the smart TVs, all the rows hanging and, you know, there's a football game on or something and you're looking for a treadmill specific one. And if the game's on on all of them, you can change, you can hook up and connect through your phone 
and cast your phone and you can cast golf or a YouTube video or whatever to one of the gym phones and the dude that's in the treadmill next to it that's trying to watch the game is going to get all upset, right? He's going to go talk to the people. They're going to come back. They're going to change it back to the game. So he's going to be all happy. And then you can connect again. And this is me in the back row. I'm in the back row just on the on the Cybex machine or on the elliptical machine, whatever. And there's a, the rows of TVs in front of the treadmills. And so then I just connect back up and I put golf on or something, you know, and, and, and then that guy gets all pissed off and he gets up and he's going to go over here to this treadmill and then you can grab your machine that you want to use um, and that's a way of kicking people off that if you want to use a machine if they're using the machine that you're, you want to use that's a good way of kicking them off what I used to do at the gym I used to want to watch golf so I'd go in there on Sunday to do my cardio and uh, this was actually a story that did happen one time that's why I say it now uh, I kept connecting to the TV and changing it to golf now one thing you got to be careful of is my notifications started popping up so I was getting texts um, so uh, I have my text popping up on the TV at the gym. Anyway, kind of fun. I don't really use it too much, but kind of fun if you guys want to mess with it. And it is here and it is available, okay? Contactless payments, okay? You can use your default payment app. You can set it as Google Pay here. I was actually kind of surprised um, that it was mostly stock Google on the apps. Uh, Google Photos, the, the phone was Google, um, you know, Messages, Google Messages was a stock uh, texting app. So I was kind of surprised uh, this, this skin, this MyOS skin had uh, pretty much stock Google. VPN, you can set up a VPN. None of this is any different than, um, you know, the other settings in any of the other phones. So themes and personalization here. Your themes here, right here, Android, or you can change to Nubia Classic, okay? Android themes, you can apply different wallpapers, right? Your Nubia Classic theme is the theme it comes stock with, with this wing wallpaper. It's the official theme of Nubia smartphone. Hope you like it, okay? So you can change your themes. Wallpaper, you've got recently used wallpapers. One thing here is if you guys have other, other live wallpapers, you can connect them, okay? So you got... Wings plumage, wings plumage, plumage, wings plume, right? I think so. You got all these different wallpapers. Kind of nice, right? Let me get this wiped off so you guys get the... Looks clean. You guys hear those sirens? Dang, I didn't think it's 11 o'clock at night yet. You never know if it's fireworks or gunja. Anyway, um, so you got all these wings here. Melody of the sea, la 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 Melody. Pretty cool, pretty vibrant. Got the brightness all the way up. Pretty vibrant wallpapers here. Melody of the sea. And these ones you can set as uh, home screen and lock screen. Creatures of the sea, you got these creatures, you got the jellyfish going. Another jellyfish. I don't know the direct... Um, species names of these jellyfish you know i i jellyfiscius i i'm not sure got these cool genesis here the reckoning that actually looks kind of sick huh yeah that looks sick i might set that that looks sick i like that genesis black crystal two of them form of the wind Whoosh. form of the wind I don't know why this, I don't know how this looks like form of the wind, but all right, I'll take it. Cluster of brocade, brocati, the brocade. Bro, I don't know, brocade reminds me of like when you go bar hopping downtown with all your buddies. It's like, here comes the brocade, all right? I don't know what a brocade is. Brocade, correct me on here. Sparkle. Got some different options here. Order. Got some different options here. Montage. Simple. Gradient and solid color. Eye of the Universe. Now these ones that have this uh, little live icon next to them is a live wallpaper. So you see this is Jupiter here, turning Jupiter. I don't know if it could be whatever planet. It doesn't tell me, so I don't know because I'm not an astronomer, astrologist, astrolog, astronomer. This is uh, or, uh, Nep Neptune, Saturn, Earth, 
Uh, I failed all the classes, you guys. I failed all the classes in school. I'm sorry. I don't know what the planets are. Now, these live ones, you can only set as a... Cannot only set a dynamic wall, wall, wallpaper as a lock screen. So you have it set... You have to set it as either a home screen or both. I'm not sure why. Eye of the sky here. Pretty cool, pretty vibrant. Yeah, pretty vibrant. Pretty cool. Eye of the Earth. I, For some reason, I've been liking this one. So that's what I have set. And here, lock screen settings. You can change your lock screen st clock style. Like that. This. Show pedometer, pe pedometer, pedometer, pe it's not pedometer, it's pedometer, all right? All right, pe I'm not even going into ped, whatever. Pedometer, show it, show the steps. And you can set a lock screen signature. Rich kid, right? I don't want to set a signature, so I'm just going to leave it, Okay. Now your wallpapers here, I thought, oh, we'll get into this here in a second. So app icons, you can change your icons. You've got these round, these more square ones, rounded, classic, lucky, dynamic. Beautify third-party app icons. It says use the effect that comes with app icons. Home mono icons, icons change with the system color. So I have them kind of square, that's what I like. So here's what my icons look like now. So if I go to home mono icons, it'll change, right? It'll change based on your, uh, based on your home screen. So if you guys like that, that's pretty sweet. For me personally, I don't do that. I might, but I don't. I like the regular ones. So then you have ZTE locker here and you can turn this on. And if you turn this on, you can go to today's wallpaper. So what, what this does is each time you turn on your screen, you'll see a different wallpaper. Swipe left or right for more. So it's when you, it does what it says. When you turn off your phone, every time you turn it on, it's gonna be a different wallpaper. For me personally, I like it. You guys, if you guys get the itch, if you guys don't have money to buy a new phone, but you guys want a new phone, uh, do something a little more cheap, right? Change your wallpaper, right? Change your uh, phone case, right? Get a different case or something. If you guys are really struggling, but you know, cause I've had that feeling of, man, I want this new tech. I want this new phone, but I don't have it. So if you guys, if you guys are completely dirt broke, then, you know, do some fun stuff. So for me, I go today's wallpapers here, daily push and local are the ones you have saved. And so if you have this on the ZTE locker, it's just going to cycle through those every time you turn on the phone. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. These are your animations, okay? Slow, default, or fast. This is actually something that, that is, is interesting because we go and turn this off, or we, I go and turn this off in, in the developer options on every Android phone that I have. So it's cool that this gives me the option to do it here, um, here and it, right in, the, in, in its own settings, in the phone settings. You got color and shape here. So you can pick the shape of your icons again or the shape of how all the, you guys see like the notification, uh, things are shaped. There, square. I haven't applied it, so it's not changing. But you guys can change all that. Wallpaper color, right? For home screen, follow home, follow home screen wallpaper is what I got. Preset colors, you can change your preset colors for all your options here. I'm gonna apply this. Applying. Okay, so that's color and shape. Font, you can change your font, the font size. You can make it smaller. I've got it small on my, on my S24 Ultra. I like how it looks when the font is smaller and the screen size is smaller. So everything's a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller. But on this one, I've got it set kind of to default. You can turn it up, make it large if you're blind. Okay, and then the font weight is basically the boldness, so you can make it bold. 
That's your fonts. AOD, AOD, always on display. I have it on, enable time settings. Mine's always show uh, because I don't spend money on these phones to turn off the features. I want to, to, to use them to the, to, the, to the fullest. So you can display for 10 seconds after you tap on the screen. You can always show or you can custom schedule the always on display. Now this always on display isn't quite as customizable as uh, gonna, the, the S24 Ultra, for example. And this is kind of the theme of the phone, honestly. Uh, I'll get into it, but uh, you know, always on display here. Now I've got this owl, this cool owl set. What's up? What's up? Look at you. All right, and then I've got it showing the notification icons. I want my notifications and I've got it showing the battery level. Okay. Um, so you've got animated always on displays. You've got this moon. Uh, that didn't look like it's animating. That. Different colors of this cool thing. Pretty cool. Little hourglass. I don't need. I don't need more countdowns in my life. I'm. I'm afraid of time as it is. I don't know if you guys are. Digital clock here. So you can install any one of these clocks. Pretty cool. Analog clock. If you guys are really fancy. Kind of looks like a Seiko there. So if you guys are super fancy, if you guys are like, you know, I'm, I'm advanced, I don't just need numbers, I want to read, you know, lines, then, then, then analog clock. Or you can do a text signature for haters get smashed there. Right now, I'm just messing with this owl right now. That's my buddy right here. And then you can change your fingerprint. So this is all in the theme and personalization. You can change your fingerprint uh, animation. I've got it set as this black hole. But you can got, you can have, you can got... You can got Boundless Infinity, you can got Sky Road, Mist, Flowing Light, Ripple, Anti-Cyclone, and Anti-Gravitational anti Field, Light, Talent, and Black Hole. So I got Black Hole, that's the one I like. And then you got Effects. So that's when you get a notification, what you want your screen to do. I like when my screen just wakes up, but you can have none. You can have these two cool blue blue things come in the side. This one's pretty cool here. The green. And you can just have this. I'm trying to get this cash hair off the off the screen. So I like when my screen just wakes up. So that's your theme and personalization settings, okay? Like I said, buckle up, you guys. I mean, we're, I want to go through all the settings for those of us who aren't going to get this phone and want to live vicariously through. I want you guys to know what you're missing and not missing. So here's your home screen. Home screen mode, drawer mode is show all apps on the home screen. And this is what the iPhone does where all your apps are basically uh, laid out on the, on the screen, on the home screen. Drawer mode, this is when you swipe up on the home screen for the app tray. So this is what I've got set. So this is my home screen. And I swipe up on the on the home screen for all the apps. Now on this phone, I'm leaving it as the stock UI. On this uh, S24 Ultra, I've got a launcher on here. So as you guys can see, I've got nothing on my home screen, right? And when I swipe left, my email opens. When I swipe right, I've got all my apps that I use here, my common apps. When I double tap here, it opens voice. When I double tap here, it opens messages. When I triple tap, it opens, it opens, it opens a uh, browser. When I triple tap here, what I squeeze, it opens photos. I open, it opens Reddit. So on this phone, I have nothing on my home screen. This one, I'm just trying to mess with it as is, uh, just because I'm not used to the MyOS skin yet. This is an Android running uh, operating system and the skin is MyOS. So I'm leaving it stock and just messing with it. So drawer mode is when you've got your apps here and then you swipe up and here's all your other apps, okay? Or you got simple mode and you apply a simple home screen layout and larger icons and largest controls and font size. So this is if you're blind or 98 years old, okay? Icon layout, always five by six. I wish they had six by six. I wish they had six by seven. Again, on this launcher here, this is the action launcher that I'm using. I've got my layout 
as 7 by 10 and I can go all the way to 12 by 12. Now it starts cutting down apps and stuff, but I've got a seven by 10 and this makes it a lot more palatable for me personally. Okay, so five by six icon layout here. You can lock the home screen layout, add app icons to home screen uh, for new apps, add, lock home screen layout, app autofill, autofill empty spaces when apps are removed, loop screens. Home screen badge app icon. You can show the badge as a number or as a dot. So I have it as a number. So that's when it, when you guys are on your home screen and see my Gmail, I have five notifications. So it'll either show it as a dot or show you how many notifications you have. App icons, that's, we already went through this through the uh, personalization settings. Other settings are home screen entering animation after unlock and display Google app to the first idle screen. This was on by default, I never changed it. I'm not sure exactly what these do, but it hasn't messed with me at all, okay? Next setting, display. Dark mode, this is your dark mode settings. You can turn it on now, you can turn it on automatically, okay? I actually turn it off. I don't like dark mode, uh, so I personally get rid of it. Read mode, for entire device, automatically adjust screen color and font for entire device, which makes it easier to look at your screen and read on the phone. So this is basically your night mode uh, when, you, when, you've got, when you've got it, it makes the colors warmer, right? So I can set this for custom apps and you can add apps to this mode. So there's all your apps and you can add them um, or you can do for the entire device and this will be reading mode and this will make all your stuff. Look, I got Love is Blind on Netflix notifications for entire device, so that's your reading mode. Nightlight, turn on now, that's your nightlight. Filter blue light, slider, so you can see how you like it. That's your nightlight. Turn on automatically, I got it off. Color mode and temperature, it's set to standard. Soft, so soft, standard, soft, colorful. I've got it set as colorful um, because I, 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 I don't know. I, I like the vividness of it. I like the brightness and the vividness of it. So I've got it set to colorful. Okay. Normal color temperature. You can do warm. I don't like warm, uh, normal and cool. If anything, I like cool, but I'm leaving this one at normal on this phone. So that's your color mode and temperature, your brightness level here. And obviously you can control that from here too, from your swipe down menu. Automatic brightness. I never have this turn on because it starts to mess with me. I I'd always start shutting it on and off at times I don't want it. So I, I turn that off. Um, automatic brightness off font. There's your fonts again. We went through this personalization display size default or small. Like I said, again, on this S24 Ultra with the different launcher, I got my display size set to small. So everything looks smaller and I like, I kind of like that. Uh, it's a completely a personal preference on this. I've got it set to default. So that's my display size. Screen timeout, you can do 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. And honestly, one thing I like on this phone that it does have is over here, it's got the little sidebar and you can actually make screen stays on. Now, as you guys know, the, the, the five of you guys that tune into my other videos, uh, I use an app called Caffeine to keep my screen on when I'm reading recipes and all that. Well, on this phone, you, you've got it. This phone has it automatically in their options. Now, as far as this sidebar, I actually don't like it because I don't think it's customizable enough personally, but we'll get to that here in a second. But it does have some of these options here. Screen stay on, screen stays on, record screen, capture screen, but you got no other options. Look, you got no other apps or anything you can set to this, right? So you can edit it, so you can subtract, subtract these ones it already has, but you can only add a few here. Okay, so screen timeout, screen refresh rate, auto, 60 hertz, 120 hertz, you know I got it set to 120. I want the biggest, baddest. Display, Gaussian, Gaussian, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, all right? Blurring the interface background enhances UI content, visibility, and aesthetics. Sure, do it. Tiny screen display adjustment, okay? Now this was weird to me because I go, what is the tiny screen, okay? Here's what they're talking about. They're talking about the, um, the screen for the selfie camera right up here. So no, I can't use this. Uh, S24 stylus, by the way, on this. So low, medium, and max, all right? So as you guys can see here, look at that camera cutout. Look at that camera cutout. So when I go to UDC areas brightness and I turn it way up, it's gone, right? 
And then when I turn it down, and so then I can mess with the red. See how it changes the hue of it? So I don't know why you guys want to control this, but if you do, you can. Blue. All right. So usually I don't like to see it. Um, I, so I just turn it off. Okay. So auto rotate screen. I've got that on. And if you have it off, you can have a screen rotation button so that when you, when you rotate, um, if an app is available to be landscape mode, it'll pop up down here and you can click the button, which obviously I've got it on auto rotate. Okay. Notification that was display notification and status bar app notification. So this is where you can do all your notifications. Um, and you, you can set which apps you want to get notifications from and which apps you don't. Um, now, you know, for me, like I said, this isn't like the Xiaomi's and this isn't like the uh, Vivos and these other phones I was messing with or have been messing with. I always get the notifications on this from day one. I didn't have to really set anything. Okay. That's your app notifications. Show all the notification content on the lock screen. Screen wake up. Yes. When, when you get notification. Yes. Full screen notification style. I've got it as traditional. So it comes down uh, as a bubble down, down below. And uh, you can have it as simple. It provides an immersive experience when playing video or video games. So it doesn't bother you as much, the notification, okay? Status bar icons, notification icons here. Don't show, show icon or show number. Battery percentage, display inside a battery. Display outside a battery. Don't display battery, whatever you want. Status bar icons, network speed. I don't know this NFC one if I want it, but you see it's sitting here, hotspot. So that's all the ones, your status bar icons that you want to display up top here. Okay, time format, hours and minutes. You can have hours, minutes, and seconds. Top panel style, swipe down from top or swipe down from upper left, upper right, upper right. Now, this is an iPhone thing where, um, you know, iPhone's been doing left, right. And I personally don't like it. I just like the regular on my Androids. I just want the one. So that's your top panel style. Advanced settings, your notification history, show your recent history. Conversations, you've got some priority conversations coming in. Um, bubbles, conversations allow apps to show bubbles. Yeah, sure. Privacy, device and app notifications. There's your device and app notifications, not allowed. Uh, game helper, all this, right? You can set all your stuff. Sensitive notifications, show sensitive content when locked. I ain't got nothing to hide from anybody, so I've got this turned on, sure. Sensitive work profile. Hide silent notification and status bar. Allow notification snoozing. These are your advanced options, okay? So sound and vibration. This is gonna be standard on most of your Android phones. Ring, vibrate, silent. I usually have my phone on silent. I'm in sales, you guys, and I'm always popping off with different notifications and stupid Reddit stuff and YouTube stuff, so I've always got it on silent. But there you go, you can set your ringtone. What's up? Because I had it silenced. This is what I got. I haven't changed it. Yeah, let's do some of this. Let's do some of this uh, X file stuff. I'll usually change it to something with Final Fantasy later, but I just haven't messed with this phone yet. Notification tone. tone. Birds Twitter. Weather dynamic. Space whispers from the aliens. Right, that's your alarm tone there. Right now for my main alarm, I'm using a... Uh, I'm using this Google Clock app, regular Google Clock app, and I'm playing this Oblivion is, come on guys, you guys wake up to this? That's hot, man, come on. That's from Oblivion. If, this is my favorite, my favorite one, part of the soundtrack on Oblivion. Okay, so there's your alarm tone, you can set. Ring in silent mode, so that's if you're silenced, the phone will still ring. Incoming call vibration, standard waltz, jump. You guys can't feel it, but it feels different. Vibrate syn synchro synchronously, synchronously, with synchronously. Come on, man. They're coming up with words now. They're inventing words. 
DTS sound, headphone type, smart selection, music, okay? Live caption, automatically caption speech. Use live caption, got it. So this is live caption to text speech on your device and automatically generates captions. So most of these things that you're gonna be using like Netflix and YouTube, you're already gonna have captions on, so I don't use the live caption. But if you need it, it's there. More sound settings, dial pad tones, screen locking sound, charging sounds and vibrations, taps and click sounds, screenshot sounds, low battery reminder, ringtone fade in. Kind of cool so it doesn't just blast you when it comes in, okay? There's your haptic feedback, feedback settings. Now sync mind, sync mind is, 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 see that brain right there? It says AI. Sync mind, 5G smart communication, smart antenna boosting, right? You got a Z smart sidebar. So this is the sidebar here that we're talking about and Z smart. Okay. It sounds great, but to activate it, you can either swipe the bar or you can set it to gesture to where that little, little, uh, tab is gone and you just gesture it. So I've got it to swipe the bar. Okay. The problem is here is you can't change. I can't, I can only have it as this screen stays on a couple of these shortcuts like pin capture screen, record screen, and a couple of these floating window apps like browser, Chrome, Gmail, YouTube maps, and, 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 and YouTube music, which is fine. That's cool. I like the shortcuts when I can get them, but I wish I could have all the apps on here or apps of my choosing, but you can't Z smart sidebar floating window. And then you got your floating window notifications here and a tutorial. Quickly turn an app, current app into a, a mini window, swipe up from the bottom of current app and drag it to mini window mode. Okay. You got features, sliding switch settings. This is your sliding switch. There's a switch right here down at the bottom, um, slides, open exit camera, and you can instantly go to street mode or rear camera video mode. I wish you could just go into regular photo mode, um, but I can't, but that's what I've got it set as. So when I hit that switch, I go right into camera up, down, down, up, turns it off, open, close, open, close. Pretty cool. Uh, you can open and exit game space, open and exit flashlight, open and exit voice recorder, or quickly switch sound mode. Um, so this sound mode obviously is, is uh, when you'll uh, set yours, uh, set it to silent automatically. So, so if you guys remember the, 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 the iPhone toggle, um, same type of deal. I wish I could do, I wish I could customize this more and do different apps with this. And this will be kind of the theme of this phone. Um, but yeah, so that's your sliding switch settings, system navigation. You can set it to buttons. I like buttons on Android or gestures like the iPhone navigation, one handed mode. Most of the Android phones already have this. Um, you can either do a small window where it'll bring it down, down here, as you guys can see, or you can do a half screen where it just makes the screen smaller. I don't almost ever use this, but if you guys do, it's there for you. Z pop, Z pop. All right. It's not like K pop. It's not like the music, uh, coming out of China, all that. This is Z pop. So if you turn this on, you guys are going to get a little round ball there in the, in the side of your screen. And this thing has a bunch of shortcuts, right? Menu home, recent apps, switch app, screenshot back status bar. I don't like this. Z pop sounds like it should do something really cool. It really doesn't to me. It just gives you a couple of these shortcuts that I already probably have up here. So if you guys have, um, if you, if this is useful for you home, I can go straight to home. I can also go to home here. So if that's useful for you, great. I don't actually use it. I was kind of excited when I saw it. I'm like, Oh, Z pop all caps with a dash in between. What does that mean? That's gotta be a cool feature. Really? It's not that cool. So record screen. You can record your screen, mic, system sounds, video quality. Okay. App duplicator. You can create an app clone on the desktop to sign in. So this is kind of, if you want to, um, if you want to trick your girl, you know, if you guys are, uh, if you guys are, uh, being, being a douchebag that, uh, you can install another version of Instagram right here. And when you open this up, you'll have Instagram here and this other Instagram with a different little logo on it. So that when your girl is like, let me check your Instagram, let me scroll through, you can show her a different one, which, you know, guys, if you guys have to do that, you guys have some other issues that you really need to uh, probably think about, but you know what? Don't let me tell you. So that's your app duplicator uninstall. So screen edge, mistouch prevention, 
light, medium, or heavy. So this is so that you don't tag the screen right here. You guys can see there's a little red line spanning the screen. So when you go to medium, it gets thicker. And when you go to heavy, it gets thicker. And you can custom adjust it and make it even thicker. So I go light, whatever. Okay. Improve mistouch prevention during call. Yes or no. Mistouch prevention in pocket. There's your guys' little pocket there. On. Cool. Gesture in motion. Double scrap the t screen to wake. Cool. Yes. Double tap screen to sleep. Self-explanatory. Three finger swipe up for split screen. So that's when you have an app. You can three finger swipe up. Three finger swipe down for a screenshot. If you want to take a screenshot of the screen, there it is right there. Quick and easy. Raise to wake. Auto answer, pick up the phone to lower ringtone volume, pocket mode, snooze, dismiss an alarm, change to the earpiece, shake to turn on flashlight, okay? Schedule power on and off. You can schedule when the phone shuts off. If you guys want to reset the phone, you know, it's good to shut it off and on every once in a while. You got your accessibility settings here, text and display, font, again, font settings. So it's three different places you can find your font settings. Display size, okay, color and motion, Color correction. You guys ever go into these settings on these other phones? Taking, taking you all for a thrill ride right now. Color inversion, you can invert it. Remove animations, reduce movement on the screen. I like this, this is in your developer options too. We'll go through that in a second. Large mouse pointer, make the mouse pointer more pointy, pointable, more pointed. <laughs> Magnification, you guys can magnify the screen. If you guys are blind, 99 years old. Accessibility menu. The accessibility menu provides a large on-screen menu to control your device. You can lock your device, control volume and brightness, take screenshots and more. So this is all gives you, you know, more of the same type of shortcuts as Z-Pop and all that. Screen touch, touch and hold delay, time to take action, auto click. Live caption back again, caption preferences, audio, audio description, flash notifications, audio adjustment. There's your accessibility shortcuts. If you want to set a button, that'll pop up. It's there. Shortcut from lock screen, give you a shortcut to the accessibility options on your lock screen, okay? Wake up Google Assistant, tap and hold the power button for 0.5 seconds. I've got that turned off. I don't really use Google Assistant. So next is your standard apps. Uh, next is your standard settings that you're gonna have on all your Android phones. Apps, there's all your apps. Notifications, permissions, storage, and all that. There's all that. Default apps. This is if you want to change your launcher, if you want to change something else. There's all your default apps. Battery settings, okay. Apps AI control. You let the system control it. Now on this phone, me personally, on this Nubia, I don't have a problem letting uh, this phone control my notifications. It doesn't nerf them like the Xiaomi's do and like the Chinese phones do. So I got no problems with it. Uh, you got turbo charge here, which again, for me, uh, as far as this battery, this battery is, is an absolute beast and it settles in right here at about 65%. So you, you guys will think it's coming down quick from 100, but it settles in at about 65% here, and it stays there, man. I cannot get this thing to move. It is so nice, and I wake up in the morning, and my battery's still on 40%, and I can get a second day out of it. Now, this thing is a beast, too. Obviously, uh, the S24 Ultra is a beast. This is probably the best battery I've had. Uh, this Nubia uh, Z60 Ultra is probably the best battery I've seen uh, in the last year and a half. That's in my own personal usage. Um, category and that's in my own personal experience so you guys might experience different but this battery is legit and yesterday I was on 30% I was getting ready to run out I plugged it in and in about 10-15 minutes it was up to 90-98% so it charges fast and it lasts a long time this thing is a beast and you will not have to worry about this battery running out on you so so kudos to them this thing is awesome 6,000 milliamp hour is a monster and it acts like it and I've got everything turned on to the highest and the brightest and it plays like it's 6,000 milliamp hour so badass battery I got no problems with it. turn on dark mode to save power battery percentage display inside a battery boom and then you can schedule restart okay so there's your battery Settings, more settings, adaptive 5G, scenario AI optimization. Everybody's using this AI buzzwords, but it's like, come on, you guys, come on. It's it just, we're not, we're not to what they're saying yet. All right, so there's your storage options here. So as you guys can see, I got the 512 gig. There's my apps and data, right? So you guys can mess with your storages, images, apps and data, go and delete your stuff, okay? Your location settings, okay? 
security and privacy. This is where all your device unlock is gonna be. Find my device, system updates, okay? This is gonna be in your security and privacy. Safety and emergency. Open personal safety. Continue. So you can emergency SOS here, okay? You can safety check, emergency sharing, all of that, okay? Users and accounts, this is all of your regular, you guys probably don't ever go into these settings in your phones. This is your uh, accounts that you have is, is your main Google account and all that. Digital well-being, most phones have this now. This is dashboard, bedtime mode, focus mode. You can set all these settings up through other settings, right? So that's your digital well-being, Google system updates, set, Google settings, that's your regular Google settings, which on this phone, you guys are keep saying this as far as compatibility, you're not gonna have to mess with. Uh, system and update. This is your system update. My OS 14 is what I'm running now. This is the skin that's laid over Android 14. Software is up to date. And there's my developer options that I turned on. So when you go to about phone, you can go to your build number and keep clicking it and turn on your developer options. So then what I do is I go into my developer options, which is in system and update. And I shut off my animations here. I shut off my, um, come on. Uh, Windows animation scale, off, duration scale, off, and transition animation scale, off. And it makes me feel like the phone is moving quicker. It gets rid of when you switch screens. It gets rid of that like fade in and fade out factor. And so it makes me feel like the phone's running quicker. So that's one of the first things I do. So let's see. And there's your, there's your system, right? Android 14. This is running my OS 14, 16 gig plus 12 uh, uh, plus that's my RAM capacity, extended RAM, 12. And I got storage right here. Okay, so that's all your phone settings. So pretty bare bones, honestly, pretty bare bones Android. And we'll, when I get to the overall, it's not the most com com uh, customizable UI, but I've got no issues on this. Uh, uh, it's a no frills UI. I've got absolutely no issues with it, okay? So if you guys uh, want, if you guys want, I'm not a huge gamer, but for gaming, Let's see here. Down, 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 down. Real racing. Let's try this. Welcome back. See, I've been playing this game. I'm a big gamer. Not really, but enter. All right, let's do this car. Race. My goal is to finish the race. They're going, you're trash. Don't even worry about doing good. Just finish the race. So I'm going to show them right here. The controls are tip your shit. Tip. It's going to accelerate for you. Let's go. Let's go. You guys ready? Here we go. Ooh. See how fast, this is how fast I normally drive. This is how fast I drive to the liquor store when it's 11.58 p.m. at night. Hey, actually, you guys, speaking of which, I got a milestone and no drinking since December 10th. Not a single drop, December 10th, nothing. No Christmas, no New Year's, no nothing. Zero drinking, and it's, so I don't know how many days that is, but it's March 2nd now, so we're doing pretty good, man. I feel, I feel, I don't know if I feel better. I've been a big, uh, big drinker my, my, my entire life, so it comes and goes, but I definitely feel like I can regulate my emotions better. And you know, I, it's, uh, it's, sometimes it's a rough go, you guys, and that drinking sneaks up on you, and it's so readily available here. And basically everything we do, uh, we can drink, and everything, you know, Everything we do, you know, has drinking and you're almost a weird one out if you don't. So I guess my, my, my message is don't be afraid to not not drink. And I, I, I drank pretty heavily my whole life. And, uh, you know, I, I never said this time that I'm not going to drink again. I just kind of, uh, you know, started, you know, I'm a pretty healthy guy overall. And so it's like, you know, I got to cut this down and cut this out and not let it control so much of my life anymore. So, you know, you know. Keep that in mind. It's like the world is kind of stacked against you. It's almost weirder if you don't drink now, but you know, it is what it is. If, if it's an issue for you guys, if you guys can't can't manage it, keep, keep, keep fighting the good fight. So here's Diablo Immortal. Let's try this now. So as you guys can see, the games, the racing games, all that runs just fine. I got absolutely no problems on it. How do I... 
and tap to play. No, I want my guy. I have trouble connecting to this thing and, and figuring out how to play my dude. So there's Rich Kid the Prince. I'm a wizard. Let's go. Diablo Immortal. This game is actually pretty good. I like Diablo 3. I didn't like 4 too much, but let's go. I'm going to tap to interact. Free this guy. So as you guys... Let's go. There's the blacksmith. Come on. Right? So runs games. Got no problems with the games. I don't know how, how big a gamers you guys are. I'm not huge on the phone games. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to blast somebody. How, where do I go? Come on. Okay, well, I'll get you guys later, but as you guys can see, it plays the games just fine. It's got no problems. Everything looks crisp, clean. I, I, abs I, I love it. I love it. Um, as far as work, my, my, my notes in here are everything works. You know, you guys got, let's go into your Excel, right? Let's add a workbook here. And then I'm going to go over here and split screen it and bring my calculator up. Okay. I wonder if I can, let me try something here. Let me try something. What if I want to split screen my Excel with Diablo? I can do that. So over here I'm working. Oh yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. It's 13, it's 1325 and the delta is 4859 and we are doing fantastic this quarter and only looking up guys only looking up i'm looking at the spreadsheet right now and everything is going swimmingly and you guys can actually play this game on the split screen it ain't it, it's tiny but you <laughs> oh what's that boss no that's just the sound my excel spreadsheet crashed and that was the sound that's not a diablo immortal game so you can play this here so for work mode Everything works perfect. I got absolutely no problems with this phone. Um, and it's, again, it's compatible here in the US. I can't stress this enough, you guys. If you guys are considering buying this phone, um, I've had to do no setup on it. It was almost stock Google. And this phone is, I'm getting all the notifications just like on my S24 Ultra. So when we talk about that peace of mind, right? When we get the Xiaomi's um, and, and we talk about the peace of mind of getting your notifications every time, it's hard to recommend because I don't know what's going to happen with the Xiaomi's. I don't know if I'm going to get my notifications on time. If you guys saw my review, if you guys are one of the 13 people that saw my review on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, you know the notifications are delayed, right? So um, for me, I can't stress this enough. This phone works perfectly. I take calls on this phone. I send messages on this phone. I take this phone without this phone. This is my uh, main T-Mobile line. This is my, uh, my, my other line that I and I just take this phone and I use it now so so I have no problems and 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 I have the peace of mind that I'm gonna get my notifications every single time okay so if you guys are worried about that do not have a concern on that and, and when I wrap this up in the bottom line if you fast forward to the very end I'm gonna say this again okay don't be afraid to buy this phone in the US everything will work don't be afraid to buy this phone in the US so overall man overall you guys this phone instantly I got the I got the gist of it overall as soon as I picked this up. Okay, when I turned this on and I went through the settings real quick, this is a simple phone with no bells and whistles. And what I mean by that is it's not necessarily the most fun. Okay, like like here on this Samsung, you got good lock, right? You got um, whatever. You you got different settings, right? You can set your. Uh, it's more customizable. You've got um, when you open Good Lock or the Galaxy Theme Store, you've got more going on. You've got the the stylus, the S Pen, right? Um, a little more uh, fun, and 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 the always on display is more customizable. If you guys watch my review on this, um, you know we've customized the always on display with your lock screen with with Good Lock on Samsung. Um, you're not really gonna get a, a lot of that here, but what you will get is you're gonna get an absolute beast of a phone that's going to rival the performance of the top of the line phones for almost half the price. I can't stress this enough, you guys, and how important this is, okay? So from a looks and feel perspective overall, you guys, this reminds me of another phone. I'm gonna break this out. And I wish, I wish in my heart of hearts, this is the Xiaomi Mi Mix 1. This is the first Xiaomi Mi Mix, okay? And this phone, this Nubia, reminds me of this phone, okay? And, and, and my buddy Jay is gonna laugh when I tell this story, 
This phone, unfortunately, it doesn't turn on anymore. Let me tr tell you the story of this phone. Um, I got this phone. This was kind of my first foray. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of money and I was, was trying to import a phone and I imported this Chinese phone, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 1, right? And this phone was an absolute beast, right? The camera, I don't know if you guys can see this, the camera is down on the bottom here instead of the top, right? So this was like w one of the first like full, the screen was full, nothing, no bezels at all, right? And I was, uh, first of all, I couldn't set this phone up. It was all in Chinese and I couldn't set my notifications to go. And this was years ago, you guys. I couldn't set my notifications to show up and I would carry this phone in my, in my, in my gym bag and use it for a music phone in the gym. And I, every, every day, and I, and I did this for months, every day I'd have a gallon of, I'd have my gallon of water in my gym bag because um, um, I was a meathead and I'd be, you know, carrying my BCAAs or carrying my water in my gym bag or whatever. And uh, at the time, you know, whatever, you throw a gallon in your bag. And I would always notice every Every day I'd notice I had one of the pop top gallons so the gallon would pop uh, pop off not not screw the top on and every day I was like you know what one of these days it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna spill in my bag and it didn't and it didn't and it didn't for months it didn't and then in a few months man I one day I was sitting at the gym I think I was at the back row machine and I and I got up and my the floor around me was drenched and I looked in my bag my bag was drenched soaked I had a gallon of water that leaked all over my bag and so I had saved up money to buy this phone it was about a thousand dollars US I had saved up and it was all gone this thing shut down this thing shut down on me and I was so disappointed but I couldn't get it to work anyway so but I was so disappointed I I, I, I this thing shut down on me so I kept the phone obviously water damaged phone and every year or every half a year you know when I'm going and messing with my phones or doing whatever I would plug this in and, and try to turn it on and every year it would show the red dot when it's charging but it wouldn't turn on it wouldn't turn on because it's dead whatever and a few months ago I plugged this thing in and it actually turned on. It turned on, I got my old messages and I was able to go through the apps and it turned on. Like it was revived from the dead. A Dracula has appeared in front of us, revived from the dead. And uh, I used it for about 10 minutes and I and I, and I was able to, to go through the apps and I was like, wow, nostalgia is so cool. And it shut off and I haven't been able to get it turned on again. And it doesn't even show the red charging thing now. So I, I, I can't turn this phone on. But this phone, this Nubia Z60 Ultra reminds me of these uh, old Xiaomi's. This thing looks and feels so nice. It feels so, uh, this this matte finish on the back. I, I think the camera, I don't know how you, what you guys feel, but I think the camera looks, looks super cool and futuristic on the back of this phone. I personally like everything about this phone and I'm having a hard time kind of uh, selling it or getting rid of it because I keep using it, these sharp edges, right? And, and, and overall this crisp screen, um, you know, how the apps look, how everything, how everything acts. Overall, I'm gonna tell you guys, this thing is an absolute beast and this thing, it's, it's the simplicity of it. Again, you're not gonna have all the bells and whistles like you have on this phone, like good lock and all of that, but you will have a phone that's not gonna fail you, that's going to not, it's, it doesn't lag, it doesn't falter, it runs almost stock Google, which is crazy to me, okay? It's not gonna be crazy customizable with AI features or, you know, all of that, but it, it it's, it, the phone performs flawlessly. And again, for almost half of the price, for almost half of the price. Now, I will say, I don't think I was able to trade in a phone, right? So for me, I paid the 760 straight up, but for this phone, I paid $780 and I had to give them my Galaxy Z Flip 5. So my opinion, I don't understand why these guys don't advertise more in the US. I'm gonna have to dig into that maybe a little more to, you know, I'm sure there's some back end lobbying stuff or whatever or whatever it is. But if you guys, if you guys are listening to this right now and you guys are considering getting a phone uh, for $769, this thing is an absolute beast. And yes, it does compete with the flagships. Yes, it does compete with the S24 Ultra. Yes, absolutely. And it works in the US. I didn't have to mess with permissions. I didn't have to mess with anything. It works flawlessly in the US. I get all my notifications and I feel like this is stock Google. So my only dislikes about this phone are no wireless charging and the camera is mid. But if you guys don't, if you guys can get around that, if you guys don't care so much about that, this is a great and absolute amazing value for what you're paying. So the bottom line is if you guys have $750 to spend, and you guys don't, uh, you know, you guys don't mind not having some of those bells and whistles. I would absolutely get this phone. I don't want to get rid of this phone. I would absolutely get this phone. Now, if you guys are getting the biggest and the baddest um, anyway, then you're not going to care about this anyway. You're going to be upgrading your iPhone or your Samsung S24 Ultra anyway. But if you guys just need a solid phone that's going to run, the bottom line is this thing is a beast. Um, if you guys have 750 bucks to spend, grab this phone. All right.
Thanks for tuning in. We're going to have some more videos coming up. Later, you guys.